Okay, Heath, a question we get all of the time. People frustrated with their two-prong outlets because they've got a three-prong cord. Exactly. Right? Yeah. So what do we do about it? So the first thing I want to start is by defining what we have here. So this really, well, it is an outlet. <laughs> this <laughs> again. Yeah, we're going to go through this again. So <laughs> an outlet is really defined as a point in the system, the wiring system, where current is taken out and supplied to equipment. So it could be more than just the so plug. So this receptacle outlet is an outlet, but there's also appliance outlets, there are lighting outlets, there are smoke detector outlets. So the outlet's the point where the current's taken out and utilized. So technically you want to call this... A receptacle outlet. Okay. <laughs> because the device is the receptacle. So you're installing the receptacle into the outlet, making it a receptacle outlet. Gotcha. Either way, we are left with the problem. Right. Some of the older homes have two prongs in the receptacle, mm -hmm. and most of our modern appliances have three prongs. Yeah, a lot of surge trips, those kind of things, are going to want a three prong to plug in. So what's going on here? Why two, and when do we go to three? So two, is, you're going to see in older homes, older wiring systems, where you're going to have two conductors. You're going to have typically the black, the hot, and the white, what we'll call the neutral, mm -hmm. that are in there, so we only have those two wires to complete the path for everything being utilized, which is why you have the two prongs. What we see out front is really telling us what's out back. What should be what's inside, yeah. Gotcha, and these days, instead of just two conductors. We add a third. So now we add the grounding conductor. Right. And that's where we'd have this lower prong here. Gotcha. And you can plug that three prong cord in. You've told us a million times grounding is essential. Remind us yes. why it's so important. Safety, so you're hoping current never ends up on that grounding wire. You don't ever want it to have to be utilized, but if you do need it, you want it there. It provides a low resistance path for current ground fault current specifically to get out of uh, out of the way. Hopefully, induce the overcurrent protection device to trip, whether it's a breaker or a fuse, by letting too much current in and provide a level of safety. Give me an example where this two conductor wire mm -hmm. could end up having current come out of this conductor and into the whatever it's attached. To. Sure. So especially when you see something like this in a home. You know the wiring's probably older, it may be a little brittle, it may be time for inspection and, and have some issues. Uh, picture a washing machine, that older washing machine plugged in a basement in a two-prong receptacle. Um, if that's plugged in and that black wire happened to wear down over time, rub through, and is now touching the metal housing, that metal housing is now energized, but because it's not grounded, it doesn't know, it can't, has no way to get the current back out of there. So it's sitting there energized. Someone can simply so walk up. Literally, that washing machine is now electric. Exactly, so you could walk up, touch a water pipe, hit the machine, and you're the path of least resistance. Now you're gonna get shocked and it becomes a real safety issue. In the alternative situation, if it had been plugged into a three-prong receptacle. Yes. <laughs> that means. And we actually had the proper grounding conductor inside of there. You That's, wouldn't be the path anymore. That is the path of least resistance if everything is done correctly. Current comes in, shorts out there goes right out, trips the device. So that begs the question, if I have a two-prong receptacle, mm -hmm. which suggests I have the older wiring behind it, right. is this a safety risk and do I have to get rid of it? We don't want you to panic about it, but when you see them, you typically realize that the home is probably older, the wiring is older, so you at least want to have it inspected. Make sure the device is in good shape, like this one isn't cracked, isn't broken, isn't overutilized. Um, turn the circuit off, check the wiring, make sure the insulation hasn't broken down, that it's not brittle, that it's, it's not showing any signs of excessive wear. If it's in good condition, can I continue to use it? If keep it's it in good condition, yeah, I would say it's pretty much safe to you know, keep using that, but you do want to look at upgrading that down the road. And how do we upgrade? Well, ideally, you'd like to start upgrading the wiring as you make repairs, as you renovate rooms. Literally get rid of the wire behind this. the wall, replace it with this. Exactly, start oh, installing that. That's a big lift. It, it's not within everyone's budget and it's not yeah. always possible, but there is a solution if you want to put that three-pronged device in there so you can use some of those things. Which is? And that is, you can install this, and this would actually satisfy all of the modern code issues that we have with replacing a receptacle and trying to make it a three-prong even though we only have two wires back there. So I'm familiar with this. I got a bunch of them in my bathrooms in a kitchen, three-prong. It's got the test reset, so this yep. is GFCI protected. It is, but it's also AFCI protected. Arc fault. Yes, so when you replace fault. a receptacle, you also have to arc fault protect it as well. So this device does both. It does the GFCI and the AFCI, and it lets you take that two-prong out, install the three-prong, without having the grounding conductor. Whoa, 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 wait a second, wait a second. This one is set up to receive all three conductors, yep. hot, neutral, and ground. You're telling me that I can put this in, in there place. when there's only a neutral and a hot? You can, yes. That's an acceptable replacement because it provides two other levels of protection. 
Oh. It's pro providing you with the GFCI protection and the AFCI protection. All in this device. All in that single device. So it's kind of a workaround. It is. But you're protected. You're protected, you're adding a great level of safety, and it lets you get to where you need to be. Which is using your modern-day cords to put it into the receptacle. Right. Dag nag it, that's actually pretty clever. Yeah, and when you install these, you just want to make sure you label everything properly, and it'll come with instructions and the labels telling you where to apply them and how to apply them. Both GFCI and AFCI? All right. So. Well, I mean, it is good to know that you can upgrade your outlet to upgrade your receptacle <laughs> to something that provides the safety yeah. and the peace of mind that it's you need. It's nice that there's an option that you don't have to rewire the entire room to go ahead and get a little bit of this. Beautiful. Awesome. Great advice. Thank you. All right. Thanks for watching. This old house has got a video for just about every home improvement project, so be sure to check out the others. And if you like what you see, click on the subscribe button to make sure that you get our newest videos right in your feed.